In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to boost a LinkedIn personal post as well as a LinkedIn company page post. My name is Mitchell Gould. I run LinkedIn ads and Google ads for B2B tech and SaaS companies. So first, I'm going to show you the difference between the two, and then I'm going to go over a couple of notes, and then I'll go step by step on how to create those. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to use the chapters below, you can skip ahead to the section that you'd like. So jumping right into it, when you boost a personal post, it looks just like an organic post. The only difference is, is that it says promoted by and it will show the company name. So it's just a real small tagline. Other than that, everything's the same. You'll see your profile image, your name, and your title. And when you boost a post from a company page, it's gonna look more like a typical ad. It'll be one of your posts and you'll promote it and it'll show your company name and logo there at the top. So those are the two we're gonna cover step-by-step step how to set those up. First, boosting the personal post. A couple of notes on that. The only post formats that you can boost are image post, video post, text post, or article and newsletter post. You can't promote documents or any other types of posts at this time. And there are two campaign objectives when you're setting this up to access this ad format. And one is the engagement objective and the other is the brand awareness objective. I typically start with engagement and that's gonna charge per engagement. And when you do brand awareness, that's gonna charge per impressions and reach. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to set that up for a personal post. So if you're on your profile and you haven't ran ads before, you can go to the for business section at the top, click that, and then click advertise on LinkedIn. That's gonna create a LinkedIn advertising campaign manager account. You'll just have to associate a company page with it. And on LinkedIn, you can create any company page that you want and give it a name. So if you don't have one, that's okay. You can just set that up. And then you'll land in the campaign manager. And there are a few things that you can set up that I have other videos on, like conversion tracking and installing the LinkedIn Insight tag. Uh, we won't cover in that, but I'll leave links in the description of this video. Under the account settings, this is where you can add other users. This is where you can add a credit card in the billing section. You can edit your account. So I'm gonna edit my account because I haven't added a LinkedIn company page. And then I'll add my company page in here. Then I'll update my account. Now we'll create a campaign so we can access our personal post. So when you create your new account, it comes with a default campaign group. Uh, there's nothing in there. It shows that it's enabled, but I'll just turn it off. So we're gonna click Create Campaign, and it's gonna ask us to choose an objective. So I'll select Engagement, and then we're gonna use the Classic Builder, not the Accelerate. So we'll click Next. So first it wants our campaign group details, so you can give it a name. I'll call this Cold Prospecting. And I actually don't like to set the objective at the campaign group level, so I'll click that and I'll turn that off. I like to set this up at the individual campaign level. And then we'll click Next. So this is gonna create our campaign group, and our campaigns are gonna live within our campaign group. This is just to help you organize your account. So now we have a new campaign within our Cold Prospecting campaign group. So I'm going to call this Cold Prospecting V1, just as an example. Now we're gonna to have to select our objective again. And again, to access your personal post, you have to select between brand awareness and engagement. I'll select engagement. Then you'll scroll down, and this is where you'll create your audience. So I'm gonna select for the location. I always recommend turning recent or permanent location to permanent location. So you're only targeting the people within the location that you set. And then you can click narrow. And this is where you can select different attributes. So you can upload a company list or a contact list. If you already have retargeting set up, you can select your retargeting audiences. To use LinkedIn's native attributes, you go into the audience attributes. And this is where you can select different company attributes, different job experience attributes like job titles. So I won't go into all the details here, but I do have other videos on this that I'll put in the description. So you'll set up your audience then you wanna make sure to turn off enable audience expansion. That will allow LinkedIn to expand your audience beyond the attributes that you set. So we'll keep that off. And now we'll select the ad format. So depending on the post that you wanna promote, you'll have to select the right ad format. So if you have a text or image post, you'll select single image. 
If you have a video post, you'll select video. And if you have an article or newsletter post, you'll select article or newsletter. In this example, I'm gonna promote a text post. So I'm gonna select single image here. We're gonna skip URL tracking parameters. I also have a video on that that I'll put in the description. That is optional. For placements, this is a big one. You wanna make sure you turn off the LinkedIn audience network. If you keep that on, most of your ad spend won't show on LinkedIn. It will show on third-party mobile apps and other publisher sites that tend to be very low quality. So we'll keep that off. So our, our promoted post only shows in the LinkedIn feed. Then for the daily budget, we'll set it to the minimum daily budget allowed, which is $10 per day. And for bidding, we're gonna change this to manual bidding. You can typically get lower cost per results using manual bidding over the automated bid strategies. And then I'll turn off the enable bid adjustment. And if you look at the range here, I typically go a little below the lower range. So I'll do $1.50 there. And if we don't spend our daily budget, then I'll incrementally increase this. And if we're overspending slightly on our daily budget, I'll incrementally decrease the bid. And that will just give you the lowest cost per result. And if you have tracking set up, conversion tracking, you can add it here. Again, I'll have a video in the description on that. And then we'll click next and save our campaign settings. So it says permission required for me right now. This is because I didn't add my LinkedIn company page right when I created my account. All I need to do is just refresh this page and it should act normal. So I refresh the page and it is allowing me to create ads now. I will have to add my credit card and business address to turn this campaign on. But for now, this is where you're gonna select your personal post. So instead of creating a new ad, you're gonna click browse existing content, and then you're gonna to go to LinkedIn members. And this is where you can search your name or get the LinkedIn post URL from your post. So I'll search my name. And if it doesn't show your name when you're searching, just click and it should show your name here. Sometimes LinkedIn ads can be a little buggy. So I'll click my name and you can also paste in the URL here in the search box. You can see all my different posts here. I can go back in time. I'll just select this as an example here. Then I'll click add to campaign. So I added my personal post here. Then if you click ads in this campaign, this is the rotation settings for the ads. So if you want to rotate your ads evenly, I suggest this if you have a very small audience so people see the different ads. If you have a larger audience, you can keep it to optimize for performance. So I'll just keep it there. Then I'll click next. And this is where you review your campaign details. And then you can scroll down to the bottom. I'll have to add my payment details, but all you do is add your payment details and business address and then you can click agree and launch your campaign. So that's how you start promoting your own personal post. And if you ever wanna access the campaign manager, again, you can go into your LinkedIn profile. You can click the advertise button or click for business and click advertise on LinkedIn. That will pull up your campaign manager account. And if you click advertise, you'll be able to see the campaign group and you can also go into the campaigns and ads tab to see the campaigns that you're running. So that's how you boost a personal post on LinkedIn. So now I'm gonna show you how to boost a LinkedIn company page post. So the available company page post formats that you can boost are image, video, text, documents, article, and newsletter. And if you already boosted a post, you can't boost it again using the boost button on your company page. So let's go ahead and jump into it. You're gonna open up your company page. And if you scroll down on your company page, and you have admin access, you'll see a little boost button and that's what you'll click to start the campaign creation process. So if you click boost here, that will open up a version of the campaign manager account. Now, if you're really thinking about investing in LinkedIn ads, I'd consider creating your campaigns in campaign manager as there's more options. This is more geared to companies that don't have a lot of resources and a low budget to just get some ads going. But when you're running LinkedIn ads, it's really important to think about your overall marketing and LinkedIn ad strategy. So just keep that in mind if you're really thinking about investing in LinkedIn ads and wanna make this a successful channel, it's best to think about the overall strategy first and create your campaigns within Campaign Manager. I'll have more videos about that coming out in the future, so make sure to subscribe.
So first to boost a post, you'll have to select a campaign objective. They have three options here. One is to increase awareness for your post, so getting more impressions. One is to get more engagement. And one is to use a lead gen form to get more leads. So I'm gonna keep it on the increased brand awareness right now. And then when you're selecting your audience, most people will keep it to profile based. This is gonna allow you to select attributes like job titles on who you wanna target. But they also have interest based, LinkedIn audience template in a saved audience. So we'll keep it on profile based. And then you'll select your location. Then you'll select different attributes like company industries, job seniorities, job functions, and job titles. If you select job functions and job seniorities, you won't have the option to select job titles. So you can select job titles or the combination of those two together. So you can set your targeting there. And then if you scroll down, you can make exclusions. So you can exclude certain locations, company industries, job seniorities, job functions, job titles. And then under audience options, make sure to turn both of these off. So we don't want LinkedIn to expand our audience beyond the attributes that we select. And we don't want LinkedIn to show our ad on third party websites. So if you have that selected, most of your ad spend will actually go to showing your ads off of LinkedIn on mobile apps and other third party publishers. But we only want this ad to show on the LinkedIn feed. So we're going to make sure we have the audience network off. So keep both those off and then you'll set your campaign duration and then you'll set your lifetime budget. Then you'll select a campaign manager account where this boosted post, which is essentially an ad will live. So if you already have an account created, you can select one. If you haven't, a new account will be created. So I'm gonna select one I already have set up and I'm gonna add my payment details. So I'll add my business name and then I'll add my credit card. Then I'll click boost. So now our ad is being boosted and we'll click manage and review ad. And that's going to open up the LinkedIn ads campaign manager account and you can see the campaign here and it's active and it's running. I'm going to turn this off right now just because this is an example. But if you want to access your LinkedIn ads campaign manager, you can go to linkedin.com slash campaign manager slash account. You can also when you're logged into LinkedIn, just go to the for business section at the top and click advertise on LinkedIn and that will pull up your ad account. So that's how you boost both a personal post and a company page post. I know there's a lot of details in there. So again, ask any questions below. And if you're interested in all the LinkedIn ads targeting options, you can check out this video next.